So now I'm pleased to welcome Kai Arne here. Please. Thank you. I can clearly recognize I'm in Finland since the two and three first rows are empty. That makes me feel at home. So thank you for inviting me here. I will be spending the next 45 minutes trying to earn the title Distinguished uh, Lecture. I'm not sure whether that will be the case after 45 minutes. We'll see. So I think we already heard a bit about uh, the topics I will be talking about. Uh, I'll look at why IT in Finland is special, or whether IT in Finland is, is special. That was what, what Jarkar asked me to, to speak about. And I'm talking about lessons from MySQL AB. And specifically, I will be doing three things here. Telling you some stories, uh, giving some lessons. Now these lessons, please don't take them for anything more than they are. They are lessons that I uh, have learned when I was with MySQL. Whether they are generic, whether they are applicable for you, that's for you to decide. I can only share what I have learned from it. And then, as Jakar also promised, I will come with some challenges. And by challenges, I mean ideas how to apply the lessons how to take the stories from MySQL and make them generic and out of them create something which is bigger than you are as individuals yourself. That might sound overly pompous, but I believe that, that there is something you can do with IT or with whatever your passion is that is beyond earning a living. And, and that's my generic challenge to you. Uh, however, there are some caveats also for this presentation. Uh, it's not a totally general one. It is specifically for you. So you are, you share a common country, most of you, with, with me. And hence I will stress those lessons from MySQL AB that are particularly relevant for those of us coming from Finland. Now, I'm not a fan of having several versions of the truth and telling uh, different versions of the same thing if it would be exclusive to, uh, mutually exclusive to some other story. But it is skewed towards what can be interesting for those from Finland. So I believe that people, my former colleagues from MySQL, will know what I'm talking about, but then again, they, to them, I have already explained what Helan Gord is and what Salmiart Vodka is. So those are things that, that are not necessary to explain for this audience. Then the other caveat for this presentation is that it's by me. Now, uh, if you wish for totally uh, entrepreneurial lessons from the MySQL story, don't listen to anybody else than the CEO of MySQL. That's Morten Mik, because he joined MySQL in 2001, and there are many versions of his various speeches out there on the web, particularly one from Stanford eCorner, where he gave a, I believe, 60-minute presentation on his lessons learned from the CEO perspective. Then the uh, main founder of MySQL, Mikael Videnius, alias Monti, would have a totally different version of what kind of lessons he learned from uh, the MySQL adventure and what he is up to these days. So my perspective is, is based on, who, uh, on, on the background I have, on, on the stuff that I've been doing. So my role first when I joined MySQL was based on having done the last work of my last year of work of my 14 year stint as an entrepreneur at Polycon, a small company. Well, it's no longer is entirely small. It's it's uh, not much less than two million in in revenues, and it's a company that I left over 10 years ago. Uh, they are into healthcare systems and based in Esbo. 
And for the last year of that company, I did training classes uh, for MySQL as a partner, which was the reason I joined the company. I had followed MySQL since uh, well before it started, since I know Monty, the founder, since the 70s. Uh, but I noticed that something big was being created when I worked with, as, as a partner of that company, which is why I joined it. I, my first position was as vice president training. I then went on to various other positions, VP uh, professional services. At one point in time, I was in charge of engineering as acting VP engineering and for the services uh, as VP services. And since 2005, my main task at MySQL was being VP community relations, meaning I took care of the community of MySQL users, which is a task that usually is either a subdivision of marketing or a subdivision of engineering. Well, in the case of MySQL, it was neither or. It served both, but it reported directly to the CEO. And that position I continued having up until MySQL was acquired in 2008 by Sun Microsystems, in, at which point in time I got the additional task of being MySQL's ambassador to Sun, meaning I traveled around the Sun offices and partners uh, to explain what the MySQL culture uh, was, or at that point still, still was. And then I stayed with the company until 2010, when the current company that I'm working for, SkySQL, was started at uh, the reason being to continue the values of open source, the tradition, and serve the paying market with services around MySQL uh, based on open source values when, when uh, MySQL no longer is, is uh, managed by an, an open source company. So that's the background from which I, I describe it. Uh, I currently live in Munich and sometimes in Nago, and my uh, background when it comes to education is very similar to yours. I'm from the uh, uh, what's now called the Aalto University and I graduated a long time ago. So uh, my challenge is to you here, let me repeat, I, I, my generic challenge for you is to identify what you specifically can do that can have an impact beyond earning yourself a living. And it must be something that you feel passionate about and I encourage you to set the ambition high because there's really nothing that makes it impossible to succeed in, in creating a big movement out of it. The other types of challenges will be fairly specific. I have some ideas, you could call them pet ideas, that I'd like to develop. There might be somebody around here or listening to the recording that have similar ideas, then please turn to me. And as Jarkar pointed out, I am available to talk about some of these ideas uh, today after the, the, the presentation. Uh, again, the lessons are my lessons. They are not uh, pompously meant to be generic. So listen to any advice that you get in life, then think what makes sense, and then do, you do as you please. Don't overtrust any advice. So my first story here will be 